Hi everybody, and welcome to Chelsea Groton Banks Facebook video. Today, we are talking about spend, save, share. My name is Miria Gray, and I'm the Community Education Officer here at Chelsea Groton Bank. Um, this lesson is appropriate for students in pre-K through second grade. Um, and we've talked about the last couple of days um, how to help with coin identification and um, how to make money. And this will build off of those two lessons um, or thoughts about how you can help your kids um, learn about money. So today we're talking about spend, save, share. Um, so this is a really important concept that if we can teach early on will become a really good habit as they grow. So for our terms, think about this as your, your spending account would be your checking account, your savings jar would be your savings account, um, and, and any sharing that you would do would be any donations that you would make to somewhere, okay? So um, if we can instill this lesson in our kids as they are growing, then they will have a really good concept of how to um, save money and spend money and what the difference between those two things, what it looks like when that happens. Okay, so they have done some money identification. They understand what the value of coins are. They maybe have some chores around the house now or are, are doing a micro business like walking dogs or, you know, feeding cats or whatever it is, um, watering plants around a neighbor's house, whatever it might be. Um, they can do those things as a micro business. So they've got some change coming in, okay? Uh, and I wouldn't go crazy. I wouldn't say you get, you know, $5 for this and $10 for this. Um, really helping about coin identification um, by giving them coins for jobs that they do is really going to help them. So um, say, and I've got all quarters here, say they've earned a dollar this week, okay? And I would give it to them all in quarters. I wouldn't give them a dollar bill because how do you spit, uh, split a dollar bill out between three jars? It's it's impossible to do. Um, you could give, I have all quarters here, but you could give them um, dimes, you could give them dimes and nickels, you can give them dimes, nickels, and pennies. Um, and you can have them collect it for the week. And then at the end of the week, talk about how you're going to split it up between spend, save, and share. Okay, so, um, for my preference, I would say let's, because let's be realistic here, um, their main goal is they've earned the money, so now they're gonna wanna spend it. So let's put 50 cents into the spend jar, okay? Then 25 cents into the save jar and 25 cents into the share jar, okay? So basically we've done 50%, 25%, 25%. So for an older student, you could give a good lesson, a really high level lesson about percentages. And you could talk about a pizza and how a pizza is cut up. Um, I wouldn't go more over four pieces um, for 100%, 25, 25 is 50, which is half, plus another 25, 25 is a whole. Um, that is a pretty high level lesson for a second grader they're going to start to understand it, but this is a really good way to teach it. And pizza is another really good way, okay? So then you're gonna to wanna to talk to your students about what all this means, right? So what can you do with this money? So um, you can, next time you go to the store, they can take whatever money they have out of their spend jar if they wanna buy something, okay? This is a good time to stop saying yes to those candy bars in the grocery aisle and start saying, well, if you had money in your spend jar, you can purchase one yourself. Um, that's a, a good way um, for them to understand the spend, okay? The save, they're gonna wanna talk about, what is this jar for? So this jar, at this point in their lives, could be such as if you were going to go on a family vacation, the money in this jar, they can spend when they are on that family vacation on something that they want to buy for a memento. So 
whatever money goes into the save jar, they're going to save up to take on that family vacation um, in order to spend there on doing something fun or bringing back um, something. The share jar, um, what is this for? So this is for any kind of charitable giving that they might wanna do. So if you go to church and um, they wanna put something um, in the church basket, if you, um, if it's the holiday time and people are collecting money, that's a good time. If, um, you know, whatever it might be, if somebody is in need of something um, and they want to use their share money to help that person, that is a great time to do it, okay? So, spend, save, share. All these are, are spaghetti sauce jars um, and um, I've just put labels on them with a sticker and a Sharpie. So it doesn't have to be anything um, really expensive or innovative. You don't have to get any special thing. You could use a cup. You could use a plastic cup and just write on it with a Sharpie. Um, and then talk about what it means to keep things in these jars, right? So, so um, my oldest son had a really valuable lesson. So he is unemployed. He wanted to buy something. Um, it would have taken all the money in his account to do so. We had a really long conversation about what that would mean because he's not working right now. Um, so he then decided that he was going to go out and buy that. Then he realized that he didn't have enough money for something else that he needed. So it was for a membership for his gaming account. So um, he had spent all the money. Now he didn't have anything in spending or savings. To pay for something that he needed or wanted. So I think it's a really good opportunity to talk to your kids about what this means, but then also teach valuable lessons. Um, if they want to spend all the money in their spend jar, please feel free to do that, right? This is their spend jar. They can do whatever they want with it. The lesson then comes when they want something else and they don't have enough money in their spend jar, okay? Because they've spent it all. But you should have a savings goal for their save jar so that they know that this money should only be used for that goal. So whether it is the family vacation or if it is to buy something more expensive that they really wanted, like a video game, um, they're saving for that item. So the save jar can't come out to buy that thing that they wanted because it's not a, this is the want jar and this is the need jar. And their share money can't be spent on their savings or their spending because this has its own purpose and this is for sharing with other people. So you don't have to do the share jar if that is not in your core values. Um, some people really like it. I really like it. I, I do a ton of volunteer work and I think that it's really important to instill that in my children. Um, but not everybody does and that is completely up to you. Um, the spend and the save jars are really the most important. Um, so going forward, think about a way that your child can um, earn some money and then teach them about the spending, the savings, and the sharing. Okay? So have a great week. We're going to see you again tomorrow when we are going to be talking about another topic in this arena. We will see you tomorrow and have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.